pick a point on the horizon and stare at it what horizon i don't believe this how can you be seasick you mean to tell me all that time you spent on search and rescue you never spent any time at sea well how did you swing that i'm afraid of the water say that again i never had to work near lakes and oceans I always asked to be excused from those and i was bad memories of the flood, I guess. <laughs> this is ridiculous. What is the first thing an angel says? Fear not, be not afraid, except for large bodies of water. Is that what you tell people? I know there's nothing to be afraid of. I know it doesn't make any sense. Well, actually, it makes good sense now. The thing you're terrified of is something she loves. Who? Your next assignment, Angela Evans. She's fighting a terrible fear, the kind that comes in the night and whispers in your ear till dawn and then sends you running to the sea just to get the voices to quit for a little while. But Angela's voices won't quit. Not until her own voice drowns them out. And it's your job to help her speak up. Because if she doesn't, this will be the worst mistake of her life and her last. As a young man growing up in this beautiful state, there were unpolluted rivers where I could fish, safe streets where I could walk, quality schools where I could lay a foundation for a real future for myself and my family. As senator, I okay, make hold this up commitment. A minute, guys. Hey, it's sounding good. Go but you look like some real estate guy trying to sell the house. Look, Carter, what it needs is Angela. She's not going to do it. Just have her stand next to you and smile. All right, let me try. Hey. Since when did you ever go fishing in a river? Well, my dad took me fishing a couple of times. My mom made me stop after I caught that trout and uh, left it in the back seat of the car. <laughs> well, how come I can't get you to go on the boat with me? Oh, you can. I'm just not interested in fishing, that's all. <laughs> hey, I'll tell you what, I'll make you a deal. I'll go fishing with you if you come with me and stand over there. Hmm? Carter, I told you. Oh, no. Come on, baby. No, Look, you, no, you won't even no. have to say anything. Carter, these guys are on a schedule. 
Okay, okay. All right. When I was a young man growing up in this beautiful state, there were unpolluted rivers where I could fish. Hi. Safe streets where Hi. I could walk. Quality schools Some health where I could here. The <laughs> you are a new neighbor? Brand new. Welcome, Monica. And Angela Evans. Oh, Evans as in Senator. E well, as in Evans, the almost Senator, we hope. <laughs> this house has been empty for months. When did you move in? Last night. Oh, gosh, I've been so busy I didn't even notice. I, I would have helped or something. Uh, when you still can. So I was thinking of planting a garden, but I was wondering what the weather is like this time of year. Oh, well, it's um, kind of dry. There's, there's not a lot of rain, you know? It's just kind of bad for gardens, but it's um, good for fishing. Ah, so you're a fisherman. Well, no, I just kind of like to sit in the boat and think, you know? I like the way the water makes the boat rock, you know? Back and forth and back and forth. It's the most peaceful feeling I know. I go out almost every afternoon. Would you like to join me sometime, maybe? Sounds lovely. I do you have time to fish if you're running for senator. Oh, that's not me. That's, uh, that's my husband. Oh. Yeah. One politician in the family is enough, believe me. Yeah, I, um, I write funding grants for children's programs in the city, and I volunteer at a center for disadvantaged preschoolers. Oh, I'd love to see that. Well, we need volunteers. And I need to be needed. I love your accent. You must be from the old country, huh? <laughs> yes. Very, very old. All I'm asking for is a little support here. I am giving you all the support I can. I've given up everything except preschool just to work at headquarters. What more do you want, sweetie? You know exactly what I want. I mean, anybody can answer the phone and stuff envelopes, but only you can be my wife. You don't need a wife to win. I need you to make winning matter. It matters. You know, I really don't understand. I mean, if it were you and the situation were reversed, I'd be standing right there by your side. Hell, you're as qualified as I am anyway. More. Is that it? Hmm? Are you a little jealous because it's me and not you? Yeah, right. Don't even try to start a fight <laughs> with me, buddy. You know how proud I am of you. It's just that I like staying in the background. That's all. Uh, what are you wearing? I'm going to the boat. We got a fundraiser here. What did I just say? Angela, you can't even just put on a dress and, and just sit there and smile? No, I can't. Angela! I love what you've done with the place. She's going to the lake. I heard her. 